And word tonight, Russia is pulling the plug on the nuclear arms pact with the U.S. This after the Trump administration said it's suspending the treaty dating back to the Reagan era, accusing Moscow of violating that accord. Observers say it all may signal a new arms race. Here's ABC's Lana Zak. Tonight, experts are warning of a new Cold War as one of the most crucial arms race treaties in history collapses. Russian President Vladimir Putin has promised that Russia is developing new intermediate range weapons in response to the U.S. Putin is getting his cake and eating it too because he's able to deploy missiles that now threaten NATO but claim that it's the U.S. that is withdrawn from the treaty. The move could embolden Russia to further test an array of weapons that seem straight out of a Bond villain's playbook, including this, the Poseidon underwater nuclear-powered drone, a device that, if successful, would literally create tsunamis. Russia's announcement comes just one day after the U.S. said it will withdraw from the INF Treaty. One side has not been adhering to it. We have, but one side hasn't. So unless they're going to adhere, we shouldn't be the only one. Putin says he's only following America's lead, but for years Russia has been threatening to withdraw from the landmark 1987 treaty signed by President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. Tom, the withdrawal is being criticized by the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He writes in a statement that the president's actions are allowing for a dangerous arms race in which Russia can act with impunity. Tom. Lana Zak reporting from the White House tonight. Lana, thank you. And be sure to join us on Tuesday night for complete live coverage of the State of the Union Address and the Democratic response. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.